All right, so we're gonna do one last day here of some measurement, okay? And we're doing customary capacity today. So this is gallons and quarts and cups and pints, okay? And so um, there is in one pint, oops, there are two cups in one quart, there are two pints. In one gallon, there are four quarts, okay? And so I use this um, to help me do all my multiplication and division, just like we've been doing the past few weeks working on our measurement. Um, another way to do this, and this only is with capacity, okay? But there is a story that my students sometimes use Okay, and that is about the Gallon Kingdom. Okay, and in the Gallon Kingdom, there are four queens. And each queen has a prince and a princess. And each prince and princess has two cats, and I didn't write this big enough to be able to do my C's inside of my P's. Normally I do that, okay? And this is just another way to do this. The G stands for gallon, the Q's stand for quarts, the P's stand for pints, and the C stands for cups. Okay, and so I can look at this and go, oh, okay, um, well, in a gallon, if I want to know how many cups are in a gallon, I just count how many C's I wrote in here. So here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I know that in one gallon there are 16 cups. Okay, let's say I have two quarts. Well, that's two of the Q's. How many pints would be in two quarts? 1, 2, 3, 4 four pints and two quarts. So this is just another way, just a little kind of visual way that you can see it um, to kind of help you with some of, some of those problems if you want. But normally we're just going to use our little pints cups um, conversion chart that we have here, okay? So let's say that I have three gallons and I want to know how many quarts that is, okay? So I go up here, I find my gallons and quarts, and remember I'm going to write gallons, and normally on your homework it's going to be abbreviated. I write my gallons under my gallons, my quarts under my quarts. So <clears throat> one gallon equals four quarts, okay? Circle the side with the blank. Look at the bottom row only. Is four bigger or smaller than one? It is bigger. If I want a bigger answer, I'm going to have to multiply. I never use the one, so I'm going to multiply three times four and get 12. So three gallons equals 12 quarts. Okay. What if I have uh, 14 quarts, and I want to know how many pints that makes, okay? Well, here's my quarts, here's my pints, quarts under quarts, pints under pints, one quart equals two pints, okay? Circle the side with the blank, compare the bottom row only, is two bigger or smaller than one? It's bigger. If I want a bigger answer, I'm going to multiply, and I never use the 1. 14 times 2, okay? If that's not 1 you know, write it down. 14 times 2 is 28, okay? What if I have 16 cups? And I want to know how many pints. 
Okay, so I'm going to come up here. Here's my cups and pints. Make sure I write my cups under my cups, my pints under my pints. One pint, make sure you put that because it's flipped down here. Okay, make sure you put it on the correct side. Put it with the correct label. And two cups, so that I'm going to put that here. Okay. All right, circle the side with the blank. Is one bigger or smaller than two? It's smaller. If I want a smaller answer, I'm going to have to divide. Okay, I never use the one. So 16 divided by two is eight. Okay, message me if you have any questions. Okay, on today's work, this is a lot of practice of what we've been doing the past few weeks um, with our measurement. So if you're having any questions, please message me. Okay, have a great day. Come back tomorrow. We'll do some division.